Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I've run across an article about a change that AMD is making that could potentially further deprioritize gaming graphics chips. Let's jump into it. Here's an article from Tom's Hardware where they interviewed Jack Hun from AMD's Computing and Graphics Business Group. And in the interview, Jack says that AMD will be recombining their microarchitectures for AI data center chips and graphics chips. AMD has previously stated that they would be deprioritizing high-end graphics chips, and now they're further sharpening their focus on those big AI profits by simplifying their microarchitecture. In the interview, Jack discusses their goal is to increase scale by getting more developers on the platform, and having a single unified architecture makes that easier but you can't help but get the feeling that this was an effort to further reduce the company's focus on graphics chips and bring a unified focus on the data center and AI. He didn't outright say that, I don't wanna put words in his mouth, but reading between the lines, it kinda of seems to be the case. The initial reason for splitting the microarchitectures was so that AMD could optimize performance for the two different types of workloads. So if you bring them back together, which workload type is gonna get priority for optimizations, AI or graphics? I think it's safe to assume that AI is gonna get the focus. So unfortunately, the AI impact to gaming continues, this time with AMD. However, I'm not sure how much longer the AI hype is gonna last. Companies have still yet to realize substantial revenue from AI services, and Wall Street is gonna come calling at some point. So unless there's a breakthrough in AI capability or some other trigger that generates a lot of revenue for AI services, the AI hype might start tapering off within the next 12 to 24 months. There's a lot of ifs and buts in how this may play out, so only time will tell. Will AMD be successful with this strategy? Clearly they're trying to copy the pattern of Nvidia with CUDA, but CUDA was started many years ago and it's now dominant because of the decisions made over a decade ago. This seems like a long-term strategy that is focused on the current AI boom that may not be there in five years. But it's always an advantage to have developers working on your technology and simplifying the tooling and architecture is probably not a bad idea, even though it may not advance graphics innovations. But what do you think? Drop a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time.